Welcome back to the channel. Here is another episode from our recent spec house. We finished this fall. Everyone in this video is working on something related to drainage or venting. But the main focus of this video is connecting all the top floor bathrooms to the main stack. So what is a plumbing stack? We hear this term all the time. And we know it's a plumbing pipe. But which one is it? Plumbing stack or soil or waste stack means a vertical pipe that passes through one or more stories and includes any offset that is part of the stack. Let me say that again. Plumbing stack or soil or waste stack means a vertical pipe that passes through one or more stories and includes any offset that is part of the stack. It carries the waste water and sewage to the underground drainage pipes. The name stack comes from the concept of a vertical column of straight pipe that rises from floor to ceiling. And remember that a stack vent is different than soil or waste stack. Stack vent is a pipe that connects to the top of a stack to outside air. I am connecting the top floor bathrooms to the stack. This house only has one stack, but a single house can have multiple stacks. It depends on the architectural layout of the house and the hydraulic load imposed by plumbing fixtures. Hydraulic load is represented by a factor called a fixture unit. Fixture units are units of measure. Based on the rate of discharge, time of discharge, and frequency of discharge of the fixture. You can look up your local codebook to determine the fixture units each fixture imposes to correctly size your drain pipes. Now you will see the trick I used to drill this hole at 45 degrees angle for my offset. Enjoy the struggle before we move on to the next thing.
since we are talking specifically about stacks, you can look for maximum allowed hydraulic load drained to soil or waste stack table in your local codebook to correctly size your stack. Another factor to consider when sizing a stack is total toilet count. As per our local codes, any soil or waste stack that serves more than six toilets cannot be less than four inches. Even if your hydraulic load in fixture units is less than maximum allowed on a three inch stack. I would also like to mention here that every stack must have a clean out. But where on the stack? Not more than 3 meters upstream of the bottom of the stack. You cannot go higher than that. Or on a Y fitting that is connecting the stack to the building drain or branch. Drain cleanouts provide access to the sewer lines. We will talk more about them in another video. But don't forget to install them on the stack. I also installed an expansion joint to allow for expansion and contraction of the pipe due to temperature and shrinkage of the building materials. Make sure the pipe is properly secured, aligned without added strains on the pipe and do not bend or pull pipe in position after it's been glued because that will compromise the joint and will lead to future leaks maybe it won't leak right away but yes it will leak once the drywall is done i think we have covered everything just in case we missed a few things you can add them in the comments below Before we end this video, let's talk about the stack definition again. Plumbing stack or soil or waste stack means a vertical pipe that passes through one or more stories and includes any offset that is part of the stack. That's all for today's video. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.